people who eat them and don't want to poison people who eat them. And I'll start with the response I gave to Ray Comfort, who was also fixated with bananas. Behold the atheist's nightmare. OK, that's enough, Ray. As I pointed out, the modern banana has been cultivated over thousands of years, and it's descended from an ancestor that was chock full of seeds. That's what makes it a fruit, more specifically a berry. And all fruits are edible, if not by us, then by other birds or animals. They have to be in order to propagate the species. So why does Andy think fruits ought to be poisonous? If evolution were true, and a survival of fittest, why has not the banana tree, or the apple tree, or the orange tree, the limes, the lemons, and the plums, and the, all the other fruit trees, and uh, other fruit plants as well, how comes they have not evolved some kind of a mechanism to repel people like me from eating bananas? Let's try another analogy, Andy. Asking why fruit or berries haven't evolved some mechanism to stop animals eating them is like asking why women haven't developed some mechanism to stop men wanting to have sex with them, why flowers haven't developed some mechanism to stop bees taking their pollen. You do understand that the whole purpose of a fruit or a berry is to encourage its consumption by animals, right? OK, obviously this is a little hard. Let's get Tonto in to explain the whole thing in just 29 words of one syllable. Tree makes seed. Seed drop. Not good. Tree wants seed go far. So tree make fruit. Bear 